Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Backbone JS tutorial from scratch and this is part 2 of this video series. Uh, in the past video session we have seen the introduction part of Backbone JS tutorial and in this video session we will see about the working principle of Backbone JS, about its quality features and when we should actually use Backbone JS and in the last video session guys i have discussed some of the introduction basic uh, parts of backbone js as well as we have seen our first custom message as a program in backbone js so in this tutorial we will mainly focus on the working principle of backbone js so for that we have i have made some sort of key points for you basically the principle of backbone js depends on the following points the first key point should be in the backbone JS is HTTP request, second router, view, events, model, collection and data source. So step by step we are going to see about the working principle of all these key points and their roles in backbone JS. So before understanding these key points have a look at a screenshot or image for better understanding about these points. So first router. Every backbone JS application starts from routing, okay. And HTTP request is basically plays a main important role to connect router to views. And views are the representational part of every backbone backbone JS application. And router router is what router is client side request to the server and after getting the client side request in the representational part and router is coming from basically client side and the client side word like browsers like google chrome mozilla firefox these all are client sites and all these requests travel by the help of http request to our representational part view is one of the most important part of backbone js where all events occur from data source to events and basically all events are fired from view by the help of events okay so events are the mediator which plays or takes data from model collections and data sources and just it put the data into the view and all the requests which comes from router they get the data from the representational part and they need to display to the user and events basically perform their operations on models and collection is what collection is the collection of models you can say it's an array of model if you we use a single model then it's a model if we use means global using a collection of model then it categorizes under collection and all these operations will be performed from the data source data source is the basic need of data points where data comes and in and out all the basic operations related with the database are under data source so by the help of data source all data are synced from model and collections and all these data now go back to events and view events just put the data on the view so all the request actually comes from the client side by the help of HTTP request it goes to view and view performs all actions by the help of events and this is the basic part model connections where all the business logics we are defined here so they are models and collections basically perform their business logic where all we put our logical skills logical programming logical code to which we want to code and data source is basically responsible for data in and out so this is a very basic working principle of backbone js from client source side to the database so these are the very basic points that you have to keep in your mind while learning backbone js that is http request router view events model collection and data source so step by step we will see all these topics key points in great detail in later video session so still you need to understand what is the key principle or how they work actually in backbone chase and uh, about the second point about the features so according to principle we may say that features is basically the simple steps or you can define features so backbone js allow developers to develop one page applications and front end much easier and better use javascript functions suppose guys if you lover of javascript framework 
Java scripts, library of Java scripts. Then you have heard about many platforms of JavaScript frameworks like AngularJS, Node.js, so Backbone.js. Why we choose Backbone.js? Because it provides a user to create one-page applications much more easier than other frameworks because backbone chase divides all its functionality all its business logics into http requests to data source we have seen that it actually distributed separated all functionality in different different points like router is responsible for performing client side application means client side request view is generally basically responsible for triggering the events from data source and modern collections are responsible for performing the logical business logic backbone js provides different types of building blocks like models views events routers and collections for assembling client side web applications all we have seen that these are the key points which basically responsible for performing any backbone js application from starting to end and they made the backbone js programming more modular and easier as compared to other frameworks in backbone js when model changes it automatically updates the html of our application so guys in later video session if we see the program of backbone js then in that condition we will see that when automatically the model changes automatically when the model changes and collections after getting or putting data from data source then we don't need to refresh our page it automatically refreshes the view section means it automatically renders the view section so whenever the data points changes automatically updates the html of our application so it's the main advantage of backbone js backbone js is simply library used to separate business and user interface logic as we have seen guys that backbone js is a simple J javascript library where all business logics model collections and all the client side requests are separated from each other and they are they are connecting via events backbone js is a free and open source library just we have seen i have given the demo links or you may say download links in my first video session to download the jquery files underscore js and the backbone js to programming backbone js as we have discussed that backbone js has soft dependency of jquery and hard dependency on underscore js files backbone js allows developers to create client side web applications or mobile applications in well structured and organized format as we see that in this diagram that it pro provides a modular structure of any backbone js application where the client's request actually travels from http request goes to representational part and it fired the events by the help of these events all business logical operations performed here which basically inputs and outputs data from data source so all these operations actually are separated from each other so it made backbone js application much more easier as compared to other frameworks and other libraries so it's a craze it provides a craze to developers to create client side web applications which runs very faster in and also it provides a structured and organized format so these are the important and key features of backbone js and all these features basically guys are came from these points http request router view events model collections and data sources and one more thing guys that we need to discuss so why we should use or when we should use actually backbone js as i am giving an example to you guys suppose you are a javascript developer so as we think the world without backbone js means before 2000 2010 so when there was no backbone js then in that specific condition if you are developing single web page application by the help of javascript then at that condition if you want to add a node we want if you want to remove a node from dom object then at that specific condition we need to do javascript coding where we have added several add listeners to our listen to our click events mouse events and many more events on javascript frameworks and all those operations business logics representational part data source all we have to actually write in the same page so it actually creates the complexity of page it made page heavier so page actually loads 
in taking too much time so to reduce our loading time to actually perform much faster response to the client we have developed backbone js and backbone js actually come into existence after 2010 and it actually provides the flexible or modular structure to backbone js or web page applications so backbone js application guys provides a modular structure of coding by the help of these points which actually divides all the sections workings of javascript into different different sections by the help of which we have reduced our page load speed made our request to server in much more clear concept regarding backbone js so i have written some sort of a statement for you about when we use actually backbone js where we i have written the same statement that we have just discussed so far that when we are creating an application having lots of lines of codes using jquery or javascript the applications generally becomes complicated when we add or replace doom elements to the application or make some request or so animation in the applications so to reduce these sections to reduce these sections we have actually implemented or used backbone chase which provides or overrides with these complications and it provides the code which is actually be cleaner nicer and more maintainable by the developers so this is the advantage of using backbone JS application or library file to our application so these are the key features guys that you have to keep in your mind while using backbone JS features and the most important feature among these I need to discuss is that when actually model changes it automatically updates the HTML of application in our later video session we will see that when we update our model then it automatically updates the view section without refreshing our page and also we have seen the architecture diagram of backbone JS actually operations and I want to remind it again when the client requests about HTTP request to the representational part then the request travels by the help of events to the models and collections where we have defined our logical or coding that performs with the data source and all the data data from data source actually travels from model collection to the view and it goes back to the client side so this is the working principle guys that we have discussed and this is the key features this, this is actually why we, we use backbone JS and here is the key factors that we use in later video sessions so guys I think I have discussed and given you the much introduction about backbone JS so in from next video session we will start about some coding sections of backbone JS where we will see about these key factors into great detail about routers view events model and collection and also guys if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel then please go to youtube's type online web tutorial where you can get a lots of video series about wordpress and we have started now backbone chase so if you haven't watched the first part of this video session then i strongly recommend you to go there and watch my first video session about backbone chase so guys i hope you like this video session and if you have any query about this video session then please do comment in comment box or if you want to give suggestion to us that why means how we make out such useful video for you then please it's our it should be the pleasure for us by taking our advice so guys for this video session thank you for watching have a great day